Okay, here we are. Prop the mic. PTM coming to you on a Tuesday, May 23rd, 2023. We got maybe the uh, the fourth and possibly final game of the Eastern Conference Finals. What's going on, Dave? Yeah, it's sad. I'm, I'm a little sad to know that we might, uh, after tonight, we might have a little break in, in the action. Um, if, if things on the East side go the same as they go, went on the West side. Um, but let's, let's talk about, uh, the game last night. Uh, thoughts okay. on the, on the Lakers, uh, nuggets. Um, I don't know. We were kind of sniffing out a, uh, a, a nuggets, uh, a nuggets sweep. And I mentioned it earlier in the, uh, at the beginning of the series, I think, uh, they're just the younger, deeper team, but, uh, it was it, at least it was a fun game. These uh, there's been a lot of blowouts uh, this postseason, so it was nice to at least, even if you're going to get a sweep, at least for it to be uh, fun. Poor LeBron puts up 40 points, a near triple double, and uh, still can't get the job done. So they got a lot of uh, questions to answer in uh, yeah. here in LA. Yeah, yeah, I I found it very comical that the announcers were like all over LeBron in the second half. You know, it's like fourth quarter they're like why is he not playing in the post why is he not backing down why is he not guarding this guy i'm like the guy is got to be exhausted right like, yeah <laughs> right After what he did in the I mean, first the first half too right you know, to the... <laughs> right right so there was there was really no sympathy for for him but you know he played he played amazing and like you said that game was good and quite honestly all of the games were competitive uh denver clearly the better team but the Lakers gave a good uh, a good showing. Yeah. Even after they jumped, the Lakers jumped out to a nice, you know, it was a nice start for them, right? And LeBron was cooking. But you just never, like, I was never worried. I was like, the the, the Nuggets are still going to win this. Like, they're just going to, LeBron's going to get tired. They're just going to, they're just going to stay back, <laughs> not get too excited. I mean, Jokic is just the perfect guy. Like, just super calm, never gets too up, too down. Right. And how And how amazing was that shot, that three that he hit? That two of them yeah Just yeah one in the awesome. first half which was like the world's worst travel he like took like three st- he went from like the post to the three-point line i think just shuffling his feet um uh-huh. and then drained that one and then again he had another one in the second in the, and maybe the fourth quarter it was definitely the second half on the other side of the court yeah uh he's he's just amazing but yeah. and i think michael porter jr continued to play really well mm-hmm. um he was a cash cow for us this series he was uh, rebounds, rebounds and assists. Um, he was great. So, yeah. all right. So let's let's look towards the uh, the Celtics. The Heat. The Heat are finally a favorite in this game in the series. Yeah. So Heat are minus one and a half. Um, totals two sixteen. Uh, all right. So, what do you like for tonight? Let's start on the uh, let's start on the Heat side. I would just like to uh, give you a little shout out. You were all over the. Uh, you were like, "What is up with this line in Game 3? You're like, "This makes no sense." Um, so it really didn't, right? Yeah. I, I just, I think, I think they finally have given the Heat some respect. Yeah. Um, and of course, the Celtics will end up winning by like 20 tonight because they finally flipped the line. But yeah, uh, but yeah, I mean, in general, like before we even dive into the picks, the, the Celtics just have no, like, just showed no fight. The only yeah. guy out there who like showed any heart, uh, other than the bench, the bench played well. Uh, oh. I thought was was Marcus Smart. Um, oh, okay. Not who you were thinking. I was just I, the only guy I thought that played with that. I, I thought two. I thought Grant Williams and, and Grant Robert Williams, Williams yeah. and and Robert yeah. Williams. I thought those were the only two guys that I don't know why they only played Robert Williams twelve minutes in that game. Uh, to me, especially in game two, even in game two, they I thought they were like really. And I guess you could add smart into that. We're the only guys that seem to have any like fight, any like any heart. I don't know. It's, yeah. Uh, yeah. Jalen Brown looks like he's done. And and Tatum also looked a little checked out. Um speaking of lineups before we dive into the picks, I wouldn't be surprised if Al Horford does not start tonight. Hmm. Okay. I okay. wouldn't be surprised if Robert Williams gets the start at center. And Derek White's also out there as well. Mm. No Grant, we're not gonna. No Grant Williams, huh? Let's let's not get carried away. Um, <laughs> but we'll get to Grant Williams in a second. He there are lines out for him, so I want to talk about that. Yep. All right, so let's let's go back to the Heat side. <clears throat> um, who do you who do you like? Let's start there. 
uh, Point Duncan. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> One yes. assist. One assist. Yes, I had that yeah. too. Could you find One that on assist. a book? What what book was that on? Uh, Bet MGM has it. Okay, uh, and I think uh, Caesars might have it too. Yeah. Um, point guard. Point guard. Dunk. Uh, Duncan. Yeah. Robinson? Point Duncan. Yeah. Point Duncan Robinson. That's it. One assist. Minus one. It was minus one seventy five. So maybe it's something you want to you know <laughs> put it, put into a game parlay or something. Uh, he had four assists last game. Uh, he's eleven for twelve clearing this line when he's played seven plus minutes this postseason. Um, so that was a little bit iffy earlier in the postseason, but uh, he'll play more than seven minutes tonight. He's been playing decent minutes. Um, so yeah, I uh, it's, it's very juicy, very juiced up, but uh, one assist. Let's go. Yeah, and I think he had a ton of three pointers on uh, in that previous game. Some of them were in garbage time, but yeah. I could see them trying to close out on him faster, which is going to have him potentially give up the ball to mm-hmm. somebody else to shoot a three. Mm-hmm. Um, but yeah, I also, I saw that one. I, he's also 81% uh, hit rate this season when he plays 15 plus minutes. So I think nice. he'll get around 15 to 18 minutes tonight. Yeah, I think so. Um, somewhere around there. So I think that was good. I also like his threes. Um, his line was one and a half threes. Uh, I forgot what that was. Mine, it wasn't, it wasn't Minus crazy. 130. Odds. Yeah, so so doable. Again, um, eighty percent hit rate this season when he plays f- fifteen plus minutes at home. Uh, he's twelve uh, for his last fifteen, uh, and he's seven. He's hit this in seven straight games, I believe it was. Uh, those might have been seven straight home games. So oh. I think he's he's also good for that. He's coming off. He's like really, really shooting hot right now, and he's got his confidence up. So I could see him easily hitting two threes tonight. You like that. Um... Yeah, I like that. Uh, I mean, that his line's only one. I mean, you just assume you hear Duncan Robinson. I just assume a two and a half line, right? Um, but I guess this is the uh, 2023 Duncan Robinson. So I don't know. Maybe if you if you were able to adjust that down and do a one three and a one assist on Duncan, that might be something uh, to look yeah, at. Yeah, that would be great. I just don't. I don't think you'll. I don't think it's going to bring that minus one seventy five uh, down very much. So. Oh, I got I think you. One, yeah, yeah. one three is probably going to be like minus like nine hundred or something. But anyway, something there if you or if you want to go with a juiced up play, do two threes and an assist or something like that. So, yeah, yeah. All right. Well, we've given Duncan Robinson enough airtime. Who else do you like on the Heat? Um, I think you can go back to Caleb Martin here. We've been on him. We were on him early in this series. You know, uh, his role is uh, definitely increased here. Um, his lines up though. I think with that night, the in game two when we had him, he was at nine and a half. He's up to twelve and a half, uh, yeah. at even at even money. Um, so I think you can go back to that. I've, this is we posted this up on Twitter. It's got some uh, some nice supporting evidence. He's been crushing this series. Um, one thing I thought was interesting though, so he's tied with Gabe Vincent for the most threes in this series. They both have ten made threes in this series. Uh, you can get him as the made three leader tonight at plus 3,000. Uh, I thought that was, you know, maybe worth a, a tiny sprinkle. Um, oh, that's cool. If he, if he continues this uh, this hot streak, I don't know, something, something to that? make this game fun. Uh, that's on FanDuel that on, or DK? Uh, that was on FanDuel. FanDuel. Nice. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Um, yeah, I, I'm personally going to lay off Caleb just because I, I feel like everybody's on him yeah, right yeah. now. Yeah. And this this you, might you be the first. time. <laughs> well, yeah, no, we certainly we've been on him for a while, but I just feel like, um, yeah, I feel I, like I'm, he, I'm with you. He's entering Malcolm Brogdon territory, where it's like you everybody's played him so much, and now he's 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 due for some regression. So, yeah, but he does look really good. I did like um, I did like him for a steal as well tonight. If if uh, uh, he's playing huge minutes and he's very consistent getting a steal, I think that was like minus one seventy. So that could also be something good to pair with. The Robinson one assist. Um, so okay. So who else do you like on the Heat side? Anybody else? Uh, I like Lowry to get a steal. It's mine. It's also kind of pricey at minus one sixty. Uh, but he's had one in all three games against Boston. Uh, thirteen of fifteen in the playoffs. Uh, so I think uh, you know it's it's hard finding good value uh, at this point. But uh, that was something that I liked. I think Kyle will be. Uh, Looking, uh, he knows they just want to wrap these up, wrap things up, get a nice week off, uh, get to Denver early, get acclimated to the altitude, and uh, yeah, 
I like that. Yeah. Yeah, I, I also had a play. I like the steal. Um, I also liked last game we were on four assists. This game I like four rebounds, um, which is actually plus money, plus 102. Hmm. Uh, he's six for eight uh, at home in the playoffs, getting four rebounds. Um, I, I That one particularly stands out in my mind because as he was struggling to get assists in the first three quarters, the rebounds were piling up for him. So, um, So I think that's nice. I also like a little parlay for him, which I think I like even more than the rebounds. I like three assists and three rebounds uh, at minus 119. So he's done this in seven of eight playoff games at home, right? So Mm -hmm. better than the six of eight just for the rebound, the four rebounds alone. Um, But then I look holistically on the season, um, 91% hit rate for for three assists. 82% 82% mm-hmm. hit rate for three rebounds. So put them together, you get a minus 119. I think that's nice. Yeah, that's uh, that's decent value there, I think. Uh, yeah, I like that. Yeah, good price there. Yeah. So, all right, cool. How about uh, Jimmy? You got anything for Jimmy tonight? I don't. Do you? Um, I got a lot for him. Oh, yeah? Some, some of which I, I don't feel comfortable, but I'm going to say it anyway. All right, so, <laughs> so again, like you said, I'm – Overall, like we didn't even state this up front, but overall, this is a tough game to yeah. to analyze. It it could be over in the third quarter. It could be competitive like last night. Mm-hmm. The Heat could could uh, could blow them out. The Celtics could blow them out. Like who knows? Like really, it's very hard to determine how this game is going to play out. Yeah. So be cautious and don't don't go too crazy on this game. But here's a few thoughts on Jimmy. Um, I do like playing the first quarter in this game because I think that's going to be competitive no matter what. Right. Mm -hmm. So Jimmy, Jimmy, first quarter, I looked at two rebounds uh, plus one assist, Um, two rebounds. He's done in 12 out of 13 playoff games. That excludes the play in games. Um, One assist he's done in 12 out of 13 playoff games. Right. So you put those two together, you get minus 155. So decent value. Right. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Not not amazing, but I, I, I liked it. I'll come back to that play when we go to the Celtics side because I, I have another first quarter play that I'd like to parlay with that as an alternative, okay? Okay. Um, Jimmy, under 28 and a half points. What do you think about that tonight? Um, he's only crossed that in one out of the last eight games. Yeah. Right? Yep. I mean, I, I, th- I think I think he could put up a 40-point game tonight, but I also think he's more likely to put up low 20s. Right. Yeah, I agree. I I just don't have a good feel, uh, you know, strongly one way or the other. Like like you said, it's, you know, similar to like Tatum. Like, do I do I think, you know, the Tatum under is pretty good here? Yeah. But also, like, if Tatum decides to show up and he he can put up a 40 spot, you know, if he's not like, you know, worrying about his his uh, trip to to Tulum or wherever he's going, you know, so. (laughs) Um, All right. Another another alternative would be Jimmy under one three. Um, he's only hit one three in two of his last eight games as well. So huh. um, it's funny so, you said that. I was actually thinking about a Jimmy over three. So it just show it just this just goes to show you how all over the place it is. I was like, I can see Jimmy uh, sticking it to him and and uh, knocking a three to kind of just like take their heart out tonight. You know, I I could yeah, see Jimmy he, he definitely. That. He definitely could. In game one, he shot two for four. So it could be a game like that mm-hmm. where he has good shooting percentage and, and puts up a good volume. In game two, he only he went 0 for 1. In game three, he went 0 for 1. So he hasn't really been shooting the ball that much. Um, no. re- really, I think Since he shot a Milwaukee lot of threes series. in the Milwaukee series. And then once the Knicks series started, he, he really backed back down to what he normally yeah. does. So yeah. that's an option. Again, I, I never really love playing 1-3 because under because it, you know, it doesn't yeah. take much. Um, and then the last play on Jimmy is five and a half assists, minus 142. He's done this in five of his last six games. So that kind of yeah. fits with the 28 and a half points. They're very correlated. Um, mm-hmm. if, he, if he goes under on 28 and a half points, that means he's probably dishing the ball more than shooting, which is really what he did last game. He, I think uh, Gabe Vincent might have put up more shots than Jimmy last game, if I recall that stat. Um, so that could also be possible as well, but yeah, he basically only played three quarters and he and he cleared this last game. So I like uh, I like Jimmy for six assists tonight. All right, 
Sounds All right. good. I looked at that. Yep. So that's that side. Oh, and my, my last sleeper play. There'll never be a line on this guy, but I just I just like uh Zeller. Um he had four <laughs> points and four rebounds. I just I find him to be pretty productive while he's out there. And I think with Kevin Love uh potentially nursing something with his legs, it's it was cramps or I don't know, whatever it was, but uh, yeah. Zeller could be could be in for some good minutes tonight. So if you do see a live line on Zeller, either points, probably more likely rebounds, um, two and a half, three and a half, I would jump on that too. They started running plays for Zeller in that last game. <laughs> they were, you know he's the highest the <clears throat> highest uh, overall draft pick on the Heat roster. Yeah, yeah, rightfully so. <laughs> he was a stud. He was a stud in college. Hasn't, hasn't done yeah. a lot in the NBA. No, no, maybe maybe he'll get a ring. Um, all right, and then uh, oh, sorry, and then one other question on the Heat side. What do you think about Bam? Uh, I, somewhere I saw seventeen and a half. Somewhere I saw eighteen and a half points. I looked at it. I'm I'm kind of feeling I would lean toward the under on his points here. I just feel like okay. he's gonna he's gonna uh, they're gonna lean on him <clears throat> defensively here. He's not gonna. I, I feel like he's. Not gonna feel the need to try to like. I don't think he ever feels the need to score too much, but uh, uh, yeah, I just could see him trying to really uh, lock, you know, play some some lockdown defense and uh, not worrying as much on the offensive side of the ball. Um, but again, just kind of a lean. Uh, that was my yeah. Feeling. Where were you? I was leaning over just because uh, game one he had twenty, game two he had twenty two. Um, game three, I think he finished with 13 and he, yeah. he really did most of that damage in the first half. Didn't you only play, play 25 quarter. minutes. Cause yeah, the, only play 20. Yeah. So that would project out to clearing the, uh, um, the 18 and a half or 17 and a half. Yeah, that's a good point. And I looked on the season, he's averaging 19.3 points at home too. So it's not just a playoff thing. Okay. Um, so again, I, you know, you're under, I'm over. I think it's a good pass, but, uh, if I did have to choose, I'd probably say over on him. Okay. All right. Uh, let's go to the Celtics side. I'm going to start you off. Yeah. Hit me. I'm going th- I'm to th- I'm throw up a nice little lob to you, and I want you to hit this out of the, out of the park. Okay. What do you think about Grant Williams, three and a half points? If you can find it in the book, I'm all over it, but I can't find it anywhere. Oh, it was up on props.cash. Did you I see know, it up but there? I saw it on there, but it says it's on BetMGM, but it's not. I was, I was oh, ready maybe to they go. pulled it down. Yeah, I was ready to go hammer that thing like crazy. Um, I love it. He was the the only time the Celtics looked good in Game Three was in the second quarter when Grant Williams was playing center. He was he was playing a ton of help defense. He's a, he's a body he was to put on Bam to put on Jimmy. Uh, I think he's the only guy uh, that's apparent to me that like cared out there. And right. uh, yeah, I just uh, I I love Grant Williams here. Um, he had 12 and nine points in the lat in each of the last two games, you know, from yep. uh, playing like zero minutes to now up to playing. He was like, I think he played 29 minutes last game. Um, and he's had some monster games where like, you know, I think in game seven, I have it uh, right here. Game seven against Milwaukee last season. He had a seven point he had seven threes in that game. Uh, he had another uh, closeout game against Brooklyn. He had four. Uh, also in that Milwaukee series, he had a, he was six for nine from three in game two. Like I could I could see him exploding from three. Um, I was looking at that made three leader. He's he he actually you could get action on that. He's thirty five hundred plus thirty five hundred. Um, if he had one of those games where he just like went off, I, you know, I just wanted to uh, you know those are those are fun ones. But uh, yeah, I'm, yeah, I'm all for it. I, I think there'll be lines out on him later. There will. So I guess what would you play it up to, right? He had nine and, and 12 in the two games that he actually had minutes. Would you play it up to like six and a half? Uh, five and a half? I, I think I would. Yeah, I think yeah, so. I think I like five and a half. I think I'd probably stop there. So, okay. Um, all right. But it says three and a half. So if we could find it somewhere out there, go for it. Cause that's a good go play. for it. Yes, for sure. All right. Um, who else do you like? Brogdon's down to 19 and a half PRA. Hmm. What I think, I think I think I think he's done. You think he's the, done? Uh, I don't know, man. He just looked terrible last game. We were on Dude, him last game. This is the, that was the only game this whole season where he where he did not score uh, a point. He's logged, you know, 
points in every single game. He hasn't had an over the entire season. You think that happens back to back games? I don't know. I mean, he's been pretty consistent. Um, I just don't think the over six happens again. This was as high as tw- I I know it was as high as twenty two and a half. It may even have been as high as twenty three and a half uh, at some point uh, this postseason. And now we got it back down to nineteen and a half. I find it hard to lay off that, but uh, I hear your side too. I'm I'm uh, very wishy washy on this game. I just I was very unimpressed with his game last last time. Um, <clears throat> yeah, let me see. I'm looking. Yeah, I don't, I don't like, I don't see anything I like on him. So, I, uh, <laughs> I think we'll pass on him today, okay. um, or we can make a little competition. Um, all right, I, uh, I don't have much else. The only thing I would say, like, I'm kind of feeling like a, uh, like a Celtics three. I just feel like they're gonna be jacking up threes in this game. Like they're, that's they're gonna be like their heads are already in the postseason so like if we can knock down threes and win this game all right we'll uh we'll bring it back to boston whatever you know i just think uh like a a, a, a celtics three-point round robin you know by twos or by threes something like that is something that i like to do we don't talk about round robin as much here um on the show but uh definitely uh something i like to do um so I would look at that. I could see, you know, Tatum's down to uh, two and a half. His line's usually at three and a half. Uh, yeah. I, I could see Smart. You know, Smart's at one and a half. That's that's a nice line for him. I could easily see him having two here. Um, I just feel like that's that's the way they're going mean, to – that's how they do win, right, is by spreading the floor and knocking down threes. They haven't done it this this series. You know, there could be, uh, you know, some regression to the mean here, and uh, they knock some down. So I don't know. Yeah, I like it. I think um I think I think this could very much look like an all-star game tonight. <laughs> Which is like, you know, especially if it gets if it gets away from them. So, I could see a lot of three points going up tonight. Yeah. Um obviously, I mean Boston wants to make a statement, right? They they might be checked out, but they still want to win this game. So, um so yeah, I think I think mm. they're going to do it the the lazy way, which is jacking up a lot of threes. So, Yep. Um, all right, well, let's stay on Tatum. You, you just mentioned him. Uh, I did say earlier uh, about first quarter. I think he's a good um, – got some good first quarter stats as well. Uh, two rebounds is probably the best one. Uh, he's 16 for 16 in the playoffs um, with with two rebounds. One assist, um, he's 14 for 16 in the playoffs, but 13 straight. So I, I like that a lot. So – if you put those two two together, it's not playable. It's minus two fifteen. But this is where I want to cross over the Jimmy first quarter and the Tatum first quarter, put them okay. together. All right. So here are the two plays that I think are, are worth um, worth playing. I want to hear which one you like better. So Jimmy two rebounds and Tatum one assist. So remember, two rebounds for Jimmy was twelve out of thirteen, and Tatum one assist is fourteen out of sixteen and thirteen yeah. straight. Put those two together, you get minus one twenty. So that's pretty good. Pretty good value, right? I yeah. mean, for two guys who are pretty much going to play the whole first quarter, right? Yeah. And like I said, the first quarters could potentially be the most competitive quarter of the game. So I like that. The other one would be stay with Jimmy two rebounds, but instead of Tatum one assist, we go with the Tatum two assists. Uh, sorry, the two rebounds. So both of them to have two rebounds is minus one forty. Uh, again, the two rebounds for Tatum is pretty solid. Sixteen every for 16. Ga- every game that's posted. Yeah, yeah. yeah, so I think I think they're both good value. I think whichever one you like, I think is a good play. But I think it's a safer direction to go in this game is to focus on maybe a couple first quarter plays because I I think it's going to be uh, who the knows? stars it's are going to play in the first be. quarter. Yeah, right. Yeah, who knows what happens in the second half? Yeah. All right, so that's that. Um, All right. I also I also like Marcus Smart. You were just talking about him in the in the uh, three pointer around Robin, but mm-hmm. I like his rebounds. Um, again, I liked his effort, his hustle, mm-hmm. uh, especially in the third quarter uh, as the game was getting away from them. Um, he he really was out there rebounding like like a madman. Uh, mm-hmm. Tatum got very few rebounds, and and Smart was grabbing a lot of them. His rebound line is high for him for the season. Um, but but for the playoffs, it's pretty good. Uh, three and a half rebounds, minus 135. He's done this in nine of 16 games in the playoffs. So that's only a 56% hit rate. 
Mm-hmm. Um, but his last five games, he's put up seven, four, one, which was game one of this series, four and nine. He had nine rebounds last game. Um, and then versus Miami, he's four of six for the season and two of two in Miami. So I think mm. I could see him having a big rebounding game. I think I've always believed that rebounding is all about effort, right? Yep. So, mm-hmm. and I think he's, he's one of the few guys who's regardless of how the, the team is approaching this game is going to approach this game with some pride and, and try to try to go out there and, and grab some boards. So, yeah, I like that. And even in the, uh, even in the blowout, he's, he, uh, he stayed on longer than any other uh, Boston yeah. starter. So you have that going for you too. Um, so yeah, I, uh, I like it. But um, don't, yeah. It's just uh, I'm I'm very uh, mixed feelings on this game. I wanna I wanna I don't want it to dry up. I don't want the action to end. But uh, I'm just uh, very uh, wait and see here. Very hesitant. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Um, and then the last play I have, I I personally will not play this because of what I said earlier um, about Rob Williams potentially starting. Again, that's just speculation. But I I just mm-hmm. have that that feeling that that could happen. But um, Al Horford steals and blocks over one and a half, minus 140. He's done this in 14 of 16 games uh, in the playoffs. Um, I think he did it in 13 straight games or something like that. Or it was like uh, it, the str- you know, straight, long streak, yeah. 12 yeah. straight, came to an end yeah. last game. Um, so I think that's actually an interesting trend. It's actually one of the stronger trends I saw across the board. That's why I want to raise it. But again, I, I don't know enough about what playing time he's going to get, so yeah. I would lay off of it. But it, it is um, it's definitely something that's got a great uh, great hi- historical view uh, yeah, for the playoffs. I, I mean, he played the least amount of minutes in uh, Game 3 than he had all all playoffs. Yeah. You know, eight, under 19 minutes. So. Yeah, and I think, I, think, uh, I think people are underestimating that the Celtics might just be gassed from that um, from that Sixers series too, right? Like they just, they don't have the same energy that they had in that series. So, yeah. um, and especially a guy like Al Horford, he might, he might just be yes, out of gas sure. after <laughs> bumping up against Embiid for, for, you know, multiple yeah, games. Point. So, um, all right. So that's everything we got. Like we said, uh, you know, play cautiously. Um, you're picking the, the heat to, to close it out tonight. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. All right. Very good. Um, what about so you? In, yeah, I think I, I think either the Heat win or the Celtics win by like twenty. Yes. Yeah. yeah <laughs> right. Yeah. yeah. So so there are ways to play that sort of scenario as well. Yeah. Um, but Celtics uh, eleven plus so win margin. Yeah. That's uh, yeah. that, that's uh, not, that you could do something probably with that. It, it's probably either one of those two. That's that might not be uh, bad. Miami eleven plus Celtics eleven plus something like that. And then yeah, something like that. Some sort of... <laughs> but I, I just, I don't generally feel like teams that are look defeated, you know, on on a going into a game four, like they they're gonna like turn it around and come back and like, you know, it's it's like when you give up, you kind of just give up. Yeah, that's so. it. Yeah, that's it. <clears throat> so that's yeah. why most of my plays were on the on the on the Heat side, and the ones on on the uh, on the Celtic side were really like rebounds rebound related because i think that's probably the one area where they'll they'll still pile up stats yeah when you're down when you're down with when you have two losses there's still a there's still a good chance you know when you have three and they don't have a single other you know they don't have a they're just zero wins there's it's too overwhelming for these guys just mentally you just it's uh it's very defeating so yeah yeah uh, don't like it okay all right, very good. So enjoy the game, uh, and uh, and hopefully the Celtics win. So we have something more to talk about in the next week. That would be good. That would be good. Okay. All right. All right. Nice work.